I've been coming on trips with Casas uh, for about five years in Guatemala and um, this last March I just had a really great trip with uh, Team Casas. Uh, this is just people from all across the United States and a group from Western Illinois University, just a whole bunch of different people and just seeing God put all the right people on the right team and um, seeing God build his house as we build a house together just kind of really uh, made me want to come and just witness more. quite a bit before I came down and thinking I'm never gonna be good enough I don't know what I'm doing um, and he just really has shown me that when I let him take control and when I live within his will that like I still will have weaknesses but through those weaknesses he's made strong and and um, he'll continue to be faithful and do great things um, and so because of that I can be confident in the things that I do for him I think that the internship has shown me that a leader has to show by example. So I think that this has really pushed me to now for future leadership roles that you know I have to step up and do it first if my if I want my team to follow. Um, definitely, if there's anything that I've learned this summer, it's the difference between being a boss and being a good leader. Um, being a good leader is. You know, being next to the team, being in the midst of the build, um, explaining how and why we do the things that we do, not, you know, not just giving orders. So, for sure, in the future, I've learned that, like, even in my field of nursing, that it's best to be there working with the other nurses and not just ordering them to do, to do things if I were to be in charge. Seeing how, no matter what, comes against you during these builds or during the weekends or any time you have off, any time you're on, uh, God's still there and he's got it all in his plan. Uh, there's a lot of times where, you know, the house, there'd be a big problem. Oh gosh, what do you do? I just get an overwhelming peace and uh, I just know it'd be okay and you know, it ended up being okay. So. Uh, just seeing that even if you don't know all the answers, God does, and you can trust Him in that. So at the end of the summer, in each one of our locations, we're going to take our interns on a short retreat. And it's an intentional time of rest and reflection where we want our interns to look back over everything that God has done over the summer. Uh, as they've poured out and endured a lot of hard work and sweat and grit uh, and, and everything uh, in the way of service, that they take time to see what God has done in and through them. And then we send them home on, on a restful note. Uh, on, a, on a high note where they, they look back and, and see that this wasn't just a, a summer of service, uh, but a time where God is setting them up for a lifetime of kingdom work.
I just wanted to enjoy a hot meal. <laughs> Everybody get on your horses. Let's ride. Come Lord Jesus, be our guest. Mm -hmm. Cha. Mm -hmm. Cha. Come Lord Jesus, be our guest. Mm -hmm. Cha. Mm -hmm. Cha. Come Lord Jesus, be our guest. Let these gifts to us be blessed.